Hey, hey, I'm Mindy Kniss. This is The Daily Rage. Over the last few days, we've been talking about NinjaTrader, how to do just a few basics on this platform. So today, let's get a little more fancy and talk about how to set up your own ATM strategy. So again, I do this on ChartTrader. If your chart doesn't look like this, you would just click on this thing. You would go to ChartTrader, turn that on, and then you would have this whole sidebar here. I can actually extend this so you'll see what it looks like. So you have your buy market, sell market, all these ask, bid, reverse, close, flatten, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. To build an ATM strategy, you would click here and you would go to custom. This window would pop up and then you can create this however you want. You can choose your order quantity. You're always going to want to pick GTC. That's good till cancel. You can set your parameters, again, any way you want to set this up. I usually do mine by ticks, but you can do it by currency, percent price, or pips. And then here's what's cool about this is let's say we were trading two lots. We can set two independent targets if we wanted to. You could certainly set them both together, but I like to do them differently so that I have a lot of options in terms of how I want to move things around. So let's say I set my first target, target one. I'm gonna have a quantity of one, meaning one of these two total. Second one will also be one, of course, because I have, again, two total. <laughs> Very basic math here. Let's say I wanted to set my stop loss for 50 and 100. And I am just totally making this up. You can do whatever you want to do. You can use profit targets or not. If you keep them at zero, obviously you won't have any profit target. You can just let it run as long as it will run. And you can get extra fancy here by adding in break even options or trailing stop options. I generally keep mine fairly simple, so I'm not going to put in any stop strategy for this specific example. But let's say I wanted my target to be same 50 and 100. I'm going to say OK. You could always save yours as a strategy if you wanted to continue to use it again. I'm just making this one up, so it's not something I'm going to save. But let's say I wanted to try it out. So now I have my custom strategy set. I am going to look at this, and thankfully this is in the sim because this market is janky as heck. <laughs> so let's just say we think it's going to continue in this little up and down pattern. Might have a little more to the upside right now, so let's go ahead and buy at the market. So as you can see, I'm in for two lots, but I have independent stops and targets. That means I have a lot of flexibility in terms of which way I want to go with this thing. I can always bring one of these in. I could always cancel one if I wanted by clicking this little X on here. I could bring this in if I didn't want to lose that much money, and maybe I set this one here. So you have tons and tons of options. You can make them however you want. Let's see if we can actually get this to hit our first target. Let's just bring it real tight in here. <laughs> Do you guys ever feel like this when you're in a real trade? It's like, come on. <laughs> it's right there. Just hit it. Well, either way, I just want to show you what happens when you hit either target or stop. And as you see over here, it says seven. That was actually half of that 350 that we just made <laughs> because it was two lots. So when you have your full amount of lots over here, this is going to be the total, not necessarily for that one single lot. So like I said, it was showing seven. It was really only about 350 that we made in profit. And as you can see here, we have one stop left and one target left. So we can then determine what we want to do with those. We can always move them. As I've mentioned, we can put them anywhere we want. We could cancel. Now, here's the thing that you do want to know is because these are tied to each other, it's not like TradeStation where you can just cancel one of them and the other will remain. If you cancel, I'll just show you, that took them both out. So even though I'm like, oh, no, I just wanted to cancel my target. I just wanted to let it run and see what happens. And that cancels out the stop because those two are tied together. So make sure you know that. So if you did want to put in a stop like I showed you the other day, here's the thing. You're going to want to change your order quantity. So if you were to put in a stop before I had updated this, it would give you two stops, which is not probably what you want. 
So now we can sell stop market one. So we have our stop set. We are safe, good to go. We can even move this into profit and see how far it will run for us. You can see over here we've locked in. Let's just lock in five bucks. So you can do that click, drag, click again on this as well. If you have other questions about how to use NinjaTrader, drop them in the comments down below. If I know how to do them, which I am certainly not the expert on NinjaTrader, I've just picked up a few things along the way, I'll be happy to make a video for you to show you how I do it. I'm Mindy Kniss. Thanks so much for watching.